What's up guys? So we are actually getting ready to gut our bathroom completely. Um, we've already removed the vanity. I'll show you before pictures with the vanity. But we are going to tear this thing completely down to studs, rip the floor up, and completely rearrange this entire bathroom. Ceiling's coming down, we're going to put up different lighting and stuff, different window even, we're changing that out. Shower's not even going to be here, tub's going to be gone completely. Should be interesting. We'll bring you along for the journey. All right, there's one step done. I can't believe that came off so nice. I figured that was all gonna come off in pieces and we'd have to do a new trim, but I think we'll be able just to uh, scuff that up, re-sand it and put it back up after we're done. We put this uh, quarter round on, whole way around. And I think it's all oak, but I don't think we're gonna keep it. Uh, I think we're going to actually do a base trim. Now we don't know what this pipe is. We had to replace some drywall in here when we moved in. And I found it because I wanted to get rid of this little corner thing. No idea why it was there. I punched a hole in it and I saw this pipe in here. And at the time I was just like, ah, I don't really care. I'm just gonna leave it. We'll just finish this wall, put in the vanity, and put the mirrors up and be done with it for now. Everything else was all right. We just kind of repainted and put up this crown molding and stuff in the floor. It was carpet in here. So we ripped it all up, put down the tile floor. Well now, this can't be here because this is where the shower is going to be. So we have to figure out what this is. I think it's a vent pipe for the sewer and we got to be able to move it into the wall. Um, looking at it, it looks like I might be able to do that, but until I get the floor torn up to see what's going on down there, I don't know. Um, Depending on what we do with the shower, it's possible it might be able to stay because I do have to run some water lines over here for the shower. So maybe, I, I mean, obviously he had this way too big. Maybe I can move the, the wall over to here and do a wall here and do my pipes. Hopefully, you know, that might be the case, but we'll see as we go. Some of the crown that we put up, we're not using it again. All right, so this thing does, it just bends right here and goes out the wall. So it's definitely a vent for something, probably for the sewer downstairs. I'm gonna take a guess at.
Alrighty guys, so we mostly have everything gutted here. I still have to tear the ceiling down, but I got all the walls done. The tub's gone. I exposed all the plumbing that we're gonna have to move around here. Everything's there. I still got this pipe to deal with, but everything else is all gutted. I'm gonna start working on the electrical now, and we're gonna figure out where to put our outlets. I know we're gonna move this one here. It's gonna get moved over here somewhere. But it's coming along. All I gotta do yet is pull this ceiling down because we're redoing all the lighting and stuff. And then actually before the window goes in, we have to cut in a vent at the peak of the house here and it'll be real easy once this window is, is gone. Um, it's going to be a huge hole. I mean, we're we're doing like something like that big. It's it's pretty big. So I'll be able to like sit there and like get to outside and inside because I'm going to rip this all down, pull this insulation out so that I can get this vent and stuff in. You'll see that later on. But the first thing I want to do is start messing with electrical here and get that all figured out.